Look, my grass is all nice and cut. Cleaned up the bushes. HOA, mail lady, whatever you want. Should have nothing to say, mailman, about what I got going on in my house. I took the uh, silver truck this morning to the store to get some gas, but I realized one thing, and that I had left my windows open last night. I guess that's not the worst thing in the world, right? A little bit of trash in here, right? Eh, it'd be all right. Oh, so happy Memorial Day to you guys. It's really, it's really nice to be able, I love my routine, I love all the people in my life, but it's really nice to be able to wake up and I don't have to go to work. Christina's not home. I have the whole day to myself to just film and do whatever and just have a good time, hang out with the dogs, edit, read, all that great stuff. But you guys know me, if you've been watching the channel, I have to have my, my, my routine is everything to me. So we need, we need to get some kind of Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. I get a lot of questions and comments about, you know, the whole Chick-fil-A every morning, six days a week kind of thing. And it originally started, and it really just starts, a lot of you do this, and you don't, probably don't even think about it. When I first got my first job in Tallahassee, I got, you gotta have breakfast in the morning, right? So I would stop by Chick-fil-A every day on the way there. When I started the next job after that, Chick-fil-A every morning, they started to know me by name. Really, so if, if you guys have been fans of the channel long enough, you guys remember the Bojangle days where I would go to Bojangles every morning. That was because I moved locations at that job and there was no Chick-fil-A next door anymore. And it was Bojangles. And that's how the whole Bojangles truck meets and all of that came about. So when you guys see me go, oh, it's Starbucks today or it's Dunkin' this day or whatever it is, it's because that's what's closest to where I live. Now, when I moved here, it became Dunkin' every day because they opened a Dunkin' Donuts across the street from my house for like a year. And then when I ended up moving, guess what? There's no more Dunkin' Donuts right next to my house every day. So now it's Chick-fil-A when I get to work every day. So you guys, over the years, if you've been followers of the channel, have been able to see me transition from my different areas of living and what's closest to my house and what's convenient because I have to have something to eat in the morning. It's part of my day. If I don't, I'm grumpy and I'm upset and it just it's not a good day. The vibes are not peak, no peak vibes that day. So today I stopped by Dunkin' Donuts. Got me a uh, got me a big old coffee and got a uh, a little bit of avocado toast with some bacon, which was super nice. Um, I really like stopping by Dunkin' and getting that on a uh, semi, maybe once a month kind of thing, semi, not regular basis. Um, but I, I do like to switch it up. I had Starbucks yesterday that I didn't film, so I do switch it up every now and then. It just it depends on the day. Obviously, today's Monday, and I and I get free reign to do whatever I want to do today, for for the most part. So we're gonna go. Uh, do a little bit of a uh, little bit of exploring. the day off so I figured I didn't even uh, I didn't even realize how close that uh, I mean I've driven by this lake so many times and I never really realized how close it was to me so I figured screw it It'd be a cool cool opportunity to get some drone shots maybe I might catch a fish maybe we might cook a fish actually that gives me a little bit of PTSD because uh, that cooler does smell pretty bad, so maybe that's not the best idea, but you never know how the day's gonna go. That's kind of what I like about being off and waking up and filming. You just wake up, you start letting the camera roll, and you never really know what's gonna happen. You just wake up and then uh, let it ride. Let the, let the vibes unfold. As I'm over here uh, struggling to tie a knot. Gotta love it. The Bass Pro Shop hat ain't all just for looks. It ain't just for looks, baby. Hooks and lips. Ta-da. We'll switch to the GoPro. Oh, 
we go. I've been down, down there, like over there before. Didn't really work out too well. This bridge is new. I've never actually been down under the bridge, so figured why not do a little bit of exploring. Maybe go under the bridge, see if I can catch fish or something. I don't even know how to get down there. What's up? Hello. I'm fishing. Hey, Aki. I just caught me a little, uh, little, little bluegill. No, you're. Say hi to YouTube. What's up? Well, no, I got you on my AirPods. Pretty little bluegill. Not pretty. I'm listening. Yes. 
I got super lucky by being able to, I didn't even know that this was down here to be 100% honest and uh, got super lucky. I'm not gonna spend all day down here. Long sleeve shirt was a terrible idea and I caught one fish. We're moving on to spot number two. Spot number two is pretty cool. Uh, this was the original spot that I wanted to come to first. A little, uh, little spot right off the right off the road. Been wanting to come check this out for a couple months. This seems like it might be a little bit of a better spot than what the other one was. Kind of excited. Let's get to it. Immediately broke my spoon off. Part of it, right? Back on a, uh, I guess technically be Tuesday morning, Monday morning. Any level lift in here on 30 still. This should be leaving this week. Pretty cool. Kind of excited. Um, got a little bit of a different one coming in today. Not something that we get to do as much of because the uh, as the body styles get older, we start to do less and less of different kinds of vehicles. You know, obviously as things grow and things change and different vehicles come in. Um, got one coming into the shop that I'm pretty excited about today. Uh, 14 to 18 Silverado, chrome front end, getting a nine inch chrome FTS lift and some uh, 26, 14 chrome KG1 Victors. So I think I think this one, uh, similar to the way Denali King is set up, that kind of that kind of setup, except it'll have chrome wheels and it's a Chevy. So obviously I'm gonna like it more anyway, but I'm kind of excited to show you guys this one. The chrome front end, chrome on the mirrors. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for this one. Like I said, chrome nine inch lift, high country. So it's got all the chrome, got the chrome moldings on the side, chrome tip on the back. That nine inch chrome lift, chrome 26s. It's gonna be a nice setup for sure. Great way to start the week out, right? And I think later on in the week, we got some red lift kits coming in that you guys will see. Let's get to it. That one's gonna be nice. Good. Fill my ass. Fill my, my ass. Look at it. That's a pretty good one. What's your favorite one? Whoa! See, the backwards is what'll get you. Going backwards, you can't go backwards in the motherfucker. That's what'll get you. Here, come get this thing. <laughs> it's cool y'all doing this because I follow the guy in Salinas. Salinas people in Texas. Yeah. The Migos. Doing this shit up in Texas, dude. <laughs> you know, I get it. We're bringing Texas to Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all bringing Texas. There's people from all over the country that tell me, you know, nobody's building stuff like this, or these people won't touch a McGoy's kit, or these people won't touch an FTS kit, and I, I never understand it. I really don't. What's up? What are we doing over here? Oh, I'm just filming for uh, reels. Ah, uh, get out of here. Trash. In and out, same day. Look how easy that is. I make it look and sound so easy even though I don't ever touch the trucks. You know, the hardest part of my day is my arm gets tired holding the camera up outside. You know that? The hardest part of my day. You wanna do something different? I'm, I'm just a paid actor. You wanna do something I don't actually work up here. Time ever? What? Do you wanna take one of your thumbnails while you're filming? Take a thumbnail while I'm filming? Yeah, sure, let's do it. You wanna take it like right here? Yeah. You wanna stand on the truck? Hold on. Can I do this no hands, you think? Look, Mom. Nah, I'm I. My, my pants are too tight today, I can't do this. Got my shorts on, look, legs out and everything. Look at it, fit check. I hear swagging on them. Y'all ain't ready for this. 
Oh, oh nope, there we go. Ah, geez. I'm trying, I'm trying. Oh. Uh. All right, there we go. I was about to have to help you. Oh, nope, there we go. God dang. I'm trying, I'm trying. Maybe I should get on the back. You ain't never seen a Segway before? Have you seen a lot of them? This, the, the truck is hot though. We gotta do this quick, Jake. The truck's hot. Get over here and take this thumbnail picture. Oh. The truck's gonna be hot on my legs. Oh no. Oh! Wow, just look at me for a second. Was that, was that weird? Yes, everything you do is weird. Oh, jeez. Look at that, real-time thumbnail. I'm tired after that. It's getting it's hot. Whew. I'm getting out of breath. How versatile. Wow. How beautiful this truck is. Get out of my shot, you weirdo. What year's this truck, Nina? 16 to 18 it's Silverado. 16 to 18. In and out, same day. My man's from Alabama, I believe. This is like Denali King, but the Chevy version. And uh, I'm just being honest. Shout out. Now I gotta cut that out. Now I gotta cut that out. You see what you do? You over there hating. Whoa. You over there hating. That ain't hating. Go inside. Like, Go inside. A... Go inside. <laughs> I had 2614 KG1 Victors. One of my favorite wheels from KG1. Love the polish, love the design. KG1's coming out with some really nice wheels right now, and I, I gotta show love to KG1 in the videos. Coming out with some great stuff, love the KG1s. Went with a 35, 13, 50, 26 Fury MT. Shout out Fury. Fury coming out with some great tires as well. Love the way that they look. Like I said, it's, it's like a Denali King, but High Country King is kind of is kind of what it is. I'm taking the High Country over Denali. Denali King, I'm sorry. I just, I gotta throw it out there. Got the chrome in the black, gloss black with the chrome, black bow tie, love it. Chrome FTS, nothing better than that Chrome FTS, man. That Chrome FTS out here just blinging in the sun. You might need a tighter belt after that one. Jake told me that we need to come out with our own belt buckles. Bread Gang, you might need a tighter belt. Bread Gang belts, might, ha might have to come out, pop out with the Bread Gang belts. Quote, you might need a tighter belt. Lady's gonna be ripping them pants off. My man, I hope you enjoy the truck. It looks really good. I'm gonna be shitting on him in Alabama. That's all I gotta tell you. Shitting on him. Let's get his bread. You got the, the 2500 and the 1500 version. What y'all what y'all taking over here? You like 25 or the 15? That's tough. That's tough. Hey, all I'm saying is the 1500 is kind of shitting on you. That's all I'm saying. If you ain't know, yeah, look. They're shitting on you. No, like 1500 and the 25 pull up then <laughs> pull up then <laughs> you ain't about nothing that's what i thought all right i'll pull up stay over there uh, 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 stay over there we don't, we don't need you we don't need you uh poisoning this eh, nice 1500 area over here just sweating on everybody yeah we don't need you sweating on us over here oh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to cover up the niceness of the truck so I, I, get, I get terrible because I go you to understand take sweating is not a, so like a thing, right? like, I get, I get bad because uh, because I'll like go to take a picture and you only get one shot to take the picture and then you cover up the best part of the truck like the grill or the wheels or something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I would say it. that the centerpiece of this truck is uh, probably the wheel. Yeah. So stay out the way of the wheel. Yeah. Going on Instagram. You make fun of how I stand all the time. Before we end the video off today, I got, I'm got i actually driving a, tr a truck that I've really wanted to show you guys. Not something that we built, uh, but something I pulled into a parking lot. Shout out JW Montoya, because this truck looks a lot like his. And to be honest, I thought it was him pulling into the parking lot at first, but I'm gonna pull it around back because I, I actually really want to show you guys this truck because there's a couple of things about it that are really unique to me. And I'm actually uh, really excited to have the opportunity to film this. 2022 black GMC Denali 2500 on that nine inch McGoy's kit. Now what's super cool about this one, let me uh, One, I mean, look at the interior. The interior on this thing is just super nice. Got the, uh, the aftermarket stitching put into the truck, which is super cool. Love the uh, the double stitch. Um, but something that I wanted to show you that was super unique about this truck is this lift kit looks super dirty on camera, but it's not. The flake that's in this is absolutely crazy. Now, I don't know if you guys can, can see that, but the flake that's in this 
I wonder if I can pick that up. Y'all see that? You can see that, can't you? Look at that. That's crazy. It looks like the truck is dirty almost, but it's not. It's got that like super high, like broken glass almost kind of flake to it. So it's got that like lime green with the broken glass. McGoy's upper control arms with the caps. Um, looks like maybe some FTS front shocks with the reservoirs maybe. Um, actually, I know I think McGoy's might come with the reservoirs for these. McGoy's might come with, no, I think it comes with their 10 inch kit. But rock lights, wheel lights, you got the, uh, the uh, what is it, the smoked out fender lights, amp steps. I mean, it's just a, just a beautiful truck. It really is. Somebody, somebody, whoever built it, really built it right. Painted the axles, rear traction bars, super nice. Painted leaf springs, painted axles. Somebody really spent some time. Some 24, sorry, 2614 axe forged with the spike lug nuts. Look, painted, uh, painted rotors back there, painted calipers. When I say painted, I mean powder coated, obviously. But I wanted to take a minute and come back here and uh, show off this truck. Color matched mirrors. Thing's freaking nice. Tow hooks in the front. Somebody really spent some time to put this truck together nice. It, I, I'm 99% sure it's that 9 inch McGoy's. I've built enough of these with the 37's. That I'm pretty sure. Cut job was done pretty good. But that color though. That color is insane. I absolutely am in love with that color. Beautiful, beautiful. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I've been put, putting a lot of videos out, a lot of content, just back to back to back to back. I hope you guys aren't getting annoyed with me. You know that I love you guys. Let's get this bread. Get this bread.